Hotel manager Sean Hoover of the Hawthorne Suites in Tempe, Arizona, called the non-emergency police line on the 29th of August 2020 to request the expulsion of the two people who were thought to be involved in criminal activity. Mr. Hoover and his assistant Trevenir Compion came upon a guy and woman smoking in a stairwell with the exit door propped open after making the call. The female left the building when Mr. Hoover urged them to do so, but the male suspect allegedly grabbed a revolver. The man complied when Mr. Hoover instructed him to put the gun away and leave. Hey, sir, how we doing? We had a gun hold on to this. Some guy just pulled a gun out on us. I've got a 417 George here. I'm going to need some additional units. Where is he now? White male, black male, what do we got? Is he a white male, a black male? Come on. Mr. Compion retorted, a male individual in this room has just pulled a gun on them, according to the manager. Now, where is he? Where is he now? White male, black male, what do we got? Is he a white male, a black male? Come on. Come on now, continued Officer Karzaya. He will be dressed in a black shirt and trousers. Tempe, he's going to descend the stairs and come out of that door. He'll likely be peering out of the west exit. He's currently leaving. I'm going to wait at that exit. I want the responding units to enter by that entry and hold if they are coming off price. One at gunpoint. Step out! I work here. You work here? I was kicking the door closed, man. Okay, put, turn around. I work here. That's fine. On, you Step this way. Hey, listen to me! Listen! Okay? I got my hand. I am responding to somebody with a firearm who matches your description. Do you understand that? The suspect was described as a white man wearing a black shirt and tan pants. Officer Karzaya points his firearm at Mr. Compion, a black male in a white shirt and dark pants, and claims he is looking for a person with a firearm who matches Mr. Compion's description. The witness said, as the officer pointed the gun at Mr. Compion, a person's mere presence or alleged mere proximity to criminal activity does not constitute probable cause to search or arrest them, according to the so-called mere presence doctrine established by the Supreme Court in the 1979 case of Ibarra v. Illinois. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which has jurisdiction over Arizona, ruled in the 1999 case of U.S. v. Buckner that even though the mere presence doctrine has logical application where the facts and circumstances do not support an inference that the individual is connected to the proximate criminal activity. In the present instance, the defendant was a passenger in a car that was obtained under suspicious circumstances and loaded with a commercial quantity of MA. Additionally, courts have discovered that a person's look need not exactly match the description of a suspect for reasonable suspicion to exist. For instance, the Ninth Circuit upheld the detention of two men in the 1985 case of Alexander v. County of Los Angeles, despite differences between the suspect's descriptions and their physical characteristics, including the fact that one suspect was older, not as heavy as described, and did not have a gold tooth. The court used the fact that the people in issue were driving a similar car and that one of the males was donning a blue and white striped shirt and sporting a mustache to support its conclusion which it referred to as a close question. Mr. Compion did not in any way resemble Mr. Hoover's description of the suspect in this case because he was of a different race and was dressed in colors that did not match the description. And Mr. Compion would have a good case that Officer Kurzaya did not have the sufficient grounds to detain him for this reason alone. However, despite the fact that the suspect was described as black, the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California, which is in the Ninth Circuit, determined in the 2022 case of United States versus Arteaga that officers had reasonable suspicion to detain a Hispanic man who was within an arm's length of a BMW vehicle that was allegedly involved in a road rage shooting. Although the defendant's race reduced the likelihood that he was the shooter, the court reasoned that the officers would have been justified in detaining anyone who appeared to be connected to the BMW and that it did not remove the possibility that he was still involved in the road rage incident. Therefore, while it is possible for a court to find that Officer Karzaya lacked sufficient grounds to detain Mr. Compion because he obviously did not fit the description of the suspect, it is also possible for a court to find that Mr. Compion was within the scope of his authority to be detained because he left the door where Mr. Hoover had told Officer Karzaya the suspect was going and consequently may have been involved with the incident. 
arm. I have somebody on the phone right now with Sean trying to confirm if you're an employee or not. As soon as I verify that, you can go and then you can get whatever information you need. Do you understand that? It's crazy, huh? Hey, can you record this? He steadily got his gun on me and I got my hands up. Steadily I'm recording got his gun too. On me and I got my hands up. I know I work here, but he steadily got his gun. He's That's fine, just stay back. I got my hands up on the ground. He still got a gun pointed on me. Anybody come Did out he there? verify that somebody by the name of Trey works here? Get out of here, Trey. Can you provide me with any additional information on whether this man has left or not if Sean is on the queue? Sean was being recorded as I left the building and stood on the door. Another person was told to stop immediately by Officer Karzaya. Get out of here right away, I've got another gumball. A male Hispanic or white 30-year-old wearing a black bandana, a white t-shirt and gray shorts is swinging back inside. I've got another one of gumball. Get your out of here now! I've got one swinging back inside. Hispanic or white male, approximately 30 years old, black bandana, white t-shirt, gray shorts. Where did he go? Where the did he go? I ain't got nothing to do with that man. Where is he? I ain't got nothing to do with me. No shit. So why are you talking to me like that? God, get the out of the way. I'm not go. In the way. The person in the hallway was well within his rights to simply advise Officer Karzaya that he had nothing to do with the incident, since, as we have frequently argued, people are generally under no obligation to help law enforcement agencies with their investigations. On the other hand, Officer Karzaya was obligated to abide by Department Order 3.201, which is the Tempe Police Department's Code of Conduct. In accordance with the policy, police officers shall always conduct themselves both on and off duty in such a manner as to reflect favorably on the department. And they are expected to conduct their personal and professional lives in such a manner as to avoid adverse reflection upon themselves or the department. Somebody else could talk to Sean. The manager is explaining that she may have fled out the east entrance now, but he doesn't. Hi. Hi. Uh, my camera can't go on mute. He's good! Get him out! Where did he go, Sean? Jesus Christ! The guy with the gun, where the hell did he go? He walked outside. Jesus Christ! As well as his conduct in interacting with other members of the public throughout this interaction, violated the department's code of conduct. Officer Karzaya showed complete disregard for the physical and mental well-being of everyone present at the hotel during the incident, as well as a complete lack of respect for the potentially life-ending power he wielded by carrying a deadly weapon. He also spoke rudely and completely unprofessionally to numerous citizens. Officer Karzaya's actions throughout the incident seemed to be motivated by a fear for his own safety. While being terrified is undoubtedly a natural human inclination, Good police officers must be able to overcome their concerns in order to act ethically and legally even when they are afraid. Officer Karzaya's actions throughout this encounter showed that he lacked the temperament needed for this. Hence, I think it was ultimately the proper choice to revoke his peace officer certification for obediently following Officer Karzaya's instructions, respectfully objecting to his excessive use of force, and swiftly and successfully pursuing legal action against Officer Karzaya after the incident, Mr. Compion earns an A+. Mr. Compion stated that he was at least somewhat motivated by concern that Officer Karzaya was going to kill someone soon when responding to the interaction, and this worry was more than justified based on the body camera evidence from this incident. I applaud Mr. Compion for acting to protect the public from a potentially deadly cop, and I would advise other citizens to follow his lead and file legal complaints against police misconduct after the incident is over. Please let us know in the comments below if there is an interpersonal or legal matter you would like us to cover. I appreciate your attention.